I want to say like 5% of the map. It's really hard for me to guesstimate, but like if we break it into fifths, actually it's easier to do here, right? That's probably a third, a third, a third. And of this third-ish, that's like... Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's like probably five, seven percent. You put the recommendations into the coffee. Yes, you can, you can put your recommendations here. In slothy coffee cup. <laughs> okay. So, yes, the whole, the whole tile challenge. The whole tile challenge, we're working on it. And it... It's going. I need some reminders of what we're doing, though. Ben joined our colony. Strangely enough, when I chose a name for this colonist, Ben, Benjamin was the one who won. So we have Benjamin, Benjamin. Colonist Benjamin, Benjamin. Hi, Invisible Man! Watching without sound, waving. I hope you have a good day as well. The whole title challenge seems like an exercise in self-inflicted mas masochism. And hi, Sagan. Hello, welcome in. I know what you're saying, but the reason why I went with the whole title challenge is because I want a an ongoing remote colony that I can play just as time passes. Like, I... I don't want a colony that I have to play all at once. I just... I want to be able to come back to this... Once or twice a week. I have a really, really difficult time doing stuff like that. So I'm... I'm trying to teach myself... <laughs> how to play multiple games at once. Hi, Guardian Bunny! It has been a minute. I'm good. How are you? I am good. I hope you're doing well. So this was a Naked Brutality start, and it's been slow going for that exact reason. We started with Chum Lee. Our second colonist was Solentre, a six-year-old child who is now 12, who joined us and Chum Lee adopted Solentre. And then I think the Escalator joined, or was it Alistair? It might have been Alistair who joined us. <gasps> Stuggin! Hello, thank you for the brand new subscription. I don't know why there's no alert. I do know why there's no alert. Oh gosh. Chat, I turned off all of my... There we go. I turned it all off yesterday for the sponsorship. <laughs> How many other alerts were there? Not many. That's good. <laughs> Oops. I'm a professional streamer. Thank you so much for the brand new subscription. I appreciate the support. Please enjoy the lack of ads and the emotes and all of that. Thank you very, very, very much. That's one more sub counting towards the 350. You know, they there was a tweet that showed the numbers for the amount of streamers that qualify for the Partner Plus program, and it is like very few. Very few streamers, like 2%. Of, of streamers qualify. You're coughing for over a month? Do you have the long COVID? You forget what you're doing if you're playing multiple games. That's why I don't remember what I'm doing in RimWorld right now. <laughs> because I'm also playing Diablo. You've made a gaming chat sub form for demo suggestions. Thanks, Cody. Oh, yeah, that stinks. Is, this is a peculiar looking map. Is it patches of snow? This is frozen water. So I'm I'm using a mod that allows the water to freeze in winter. So this is a big lake that's just frozen over. It reeks of Twitch asking their creators to be the ones to come up with more ways for people to give Twitch money. Yeah. It's... It's iffy, right? Like, it's... Uh, it's a goal to work towards. So, I appreciate... 
the the brand new sub. I do. It counts. So I, I'm actually using a few mods that affect the visuals of the game. So water freezes, I have one that makes vapor for cold spaces. Um, fire looks a little bit different. The rocks look different. Like So instead of them just being big old chunks that look like this, they have different sizes and things. What else? Uh, we get snowy trees in when it snows. I, I want to say one other thing. You like the rocks mod? The only thing I don't like about it is that because the game fundamentally has a grid system, like not all the rocks line up on the grid because of their aesthetic. But at the same time, I don't really care that much. But it's not like it's that important. It's not that important. So yeah, I don't remember the entire chain of events here. We had Chumli, and then Solentre, and then I think we had Alistair, and then the Escalator, and then Roberto, then Vandalier, and then Ben. We had a weird occurrence. I'm not going to call it a bug, but we were doing a quest to host to host some refugees, and one of them ended up dying, and it triggered a Man in Black event. So, Benjamin was actually a Man in Black. But not only that... He is... Chumli's son. So now Chumli's son is here as well. So it was, it was totally odd. I don't know why we got a Man in Black. But it's okay, because Ben is really good at, at fighting, and we were kind of lacking in that regard. We were kind of lacking. Vandalier might be good at melee, but is a genie and is a wimp and delicate, so... <laughs> not really much for melee. And then from there, like... It was just... Down in, in fighting ability, so a soldier was welcome. Get rid of ads and support a good streamer. Why not subscribe? Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Not everybody can subscribe or wants to subscribe. But it, it is helpful. Especially... <clears throat> wow, my voice is completely cracked. <laughs> Especially now with the Partner Plus program. It is a goal to work towards. So yeah, you see the, the vapors in, in the breath that they have? This is the, the Vapor mod. I think also Smoke. Smoke is another mod that we have. So everything is kind of taking a while. Even for this many colonists, it... It's a, it's a, it's really slow going. We have some refugees right now. Hopefully they don't betray us too. Oh, Stegan, thank you for gifting a sub to Guardian Bunny. That's really, really, really sweet. Thank you so much. And there you go, Guardian Bunny. Enjoy the emotes and the ad previewing and all, all the things. Subscribers also get sound effects. There are two sound effects that everybody can use, including boop, boop, boop. And also, exclamation choo-choo for hype trains, and the rest are all for subscribers. Boop. Thank you so much for the support, and spreading the love. Boop. Exclamation love. Yeah! I'm going to war! Who are we going to war with today? So, this colony... Is, is taking a while to come together. Initially, it was because it was Naked Brutality, and so we had to work up from nothing. And what was even more difficult was that it was Naked Brutality with a solo colonist for like two days. So... <laughs> we ended up adding in a child to the mix, and so a lot of my solo colonist time has gone to childcare. Or had gone to childcare. 
Chumley. Chumley was a, the caretaker for a while. And so we, it was just it was slow going. We didn't get our research started until, I want to say, a couple years in. How many years in are we? I don't know. Three? We hosted some refugees, and they actually betrayed us. Those big meanies betrayed us, and we lost a colonist for it. It was a bummer. I guess we can have them research. You never take in refugees? It always turns out bad. So the reason why I do is because our ideology says that we've got to rescue people. Charity. We gotta take, take charity events. Okay, so Vandalier is um, a genie, like I mentioned. So... <laughs> Alright, good job. That's a good reason not to rescue people. Yeah, we have the DLC. This is this is using all the DLCs. Also, we oh, I just remembered. We're going to need some animal prosthetics because my pigs got frostbite and lost a bunch of their legs and I felt very bad for them. My baby pigs. So I, I just wanted to play a little bit of Rimworld today because I needed to refresh my mind on what was happening and I'm really bad, really, really, really bad at playing multiple games at once. Like, I'm serious. I'm serious about this. It's something I really dislike. about myself as a gamer, I have the game that I fancy, you know, that's the only one that I want to play, and then I get over it, and I don't come back to it. And that's what I want to change, I or at least work on. I want to be able to play RimWorld in the background while doing other stuff, and it's very challenging, so here we are. You get hooked on one until you're sick of it. It's, it, it really is a thing. It's a thing. I did manage to do it once before. And then when I say that, I mean like 2018. I managed to play through the entirety of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. While also playing RimWorld. The way that I did it was I, I scheduled my days. Like three days of the week I played RimWorld and two days I played The Legend of Zelda. But I also don't like adhering to a schedule like that. You use desktop icons and arrange them depending on your play priority. I... Disable all desktop icons. <laughs> so... I mean, that's an idea, I guess. You can't have more icons in the group. That... That's a good idea. It's a little bit more difficult... With the way that I stream, I guess, because I... I like to check out, like, all the indie games and stuff. You play what you feel like. You can't schedule fun time, but then you don't stream. That's... Yeah, that's... Uh, that is the tricky part. That's... That's the trick. You don't want to schedule it. But you also do... I, so, I, like, I see some streamers who schedule their weeks out and stuff. And that seems impossible to me. <laughs> the idea of scheduling my week? Impossible! You're in a tower full of ninjas, disguised as one of them, knocking them out one by one, and giving them first aid while the others watch, and that's how you improve faction relations. For a second, are you talking about Kenshi? 
Are you playing Kenji? That sounds like a very Kenji thing. <laughs> yes. My animals are starving. Yeah. About that. Kenji is another game that I really want to play. Hey. Or vegetarian raw food. This will do critical because we have to feed the animals. Am I room rooming already? Vroom, vroom. It was it's supposed to be a live alert. Vroom, vroom. Your days are planned for eight hours ahead. Yeah, I don't know. Kenji's Kenji's a good game. It certainly is, but... I'm kind of scared of it at the same time. There's a lot of games that I'm just kind of scared of, like Auction Not Included. I want to, at some point in my life, finish a game of Auction Not Included, but it's scary! <laughs> yeah, I'm scared of it! Because, 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 every time I've tried to play it, I get through the beginning stages of the game. And then it gets to a point where it, it gets too complicated and too crazy. And the gases and stuff, everything's just all out of whack and I, I just usually give up. I get like 10, 15, 20 hours into a save and then and then I give up. The mod maker for Kenshi is super easy. There is so much to it. There's so much. And I usually come up with like an early game setup. That I think works really well. And then by the time I get to the mid game, I realize my early game setup is horrible. And I either have to redo the whole thing or build an entirely separate infrastructure to support mid game infrastructure, mid game buildings and stuff. And I, it just overwhelms me and I give up. But one day, I want to play it. I am looking for a billiards table. We have a lot of cloth. We can make one of these. I don't really have a rec room. Yes, Dice Cocoon. City Skylines 2? Yes. I want to go back to City Skylines 1 before... before City Skylines 2 comes out. Yeah, micromanaging certain construction projects. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now <laughs> you have to play Oni instead of Rimworld. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The problem with Auction Not Included is how can you plan for the future if you've never seen the future? If you've never seen the future, thanks. Thank you for the follows, by the way. I missed them because my alerts were off because I'm a pro streamer. We had a few follows today. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a good day and enjoying yourself. You have to follow a guide just to get anything finished, and you don't want to play it the way someone else did just to finish it. <sighs> this sounds like an opportunity. This sounds like an opportunity to, to attempt an auction not included playthrough for all the people who cannot finish a game of auction not included. <laughs> I think I think the difference between planning it in Rimworld versus planning in auction not included is that it really, 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 really matters 
how you use the space in Oni because you have limited resources. And if any part of your production chain fails, so does your colony. And that's not the case with RimWorld. Like, you can have failures or kinks in multiple... multiple... Uh, aspects of your colony, and they won't die. Like, you can still have air and live, right? But you have limited water, you have limited um, algae or whatever, and limited oxygen bubbles and things and stuff. And you can move things, yeah. You learn as you go, but... Uh, <laughs> that's exactly the thing. I thought that was a dead bunny rabbit. It kind of looks like one. It's... It's a mechanoid head, I think, but zoomed out, it looks like a bunny. And I was very confused as to how we got a bunny in... in the mountain. Yeah, I mean, early game auction not included is... is nice. It's certainly nice, it's just... It's just a thing. We haven't seen bugs or mechs yet. Yeah, Randy's been weird. He's only been sending me, like, mad animals and stuff, and one person raids. I have eight people in my colony, colony right now, and he's only been sending one person raids. I think the biggest raid we had is two people. What is this? They want me to attract imps? to our colony so we can take care of them, eliminate the threat. Hmm, meh. I'm good. Cargo pods fell from the sky. Inside, food. That can't be a good sign. Yeah, Randy's saving up for what? For what is he saving for? But that was a really redundant sentence. <laughs> Oh, 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 I know what's happening here. I forgot we were using the cleaning area mod. I was wondering why that part of the pen wasn't being cleaned, and I, I got it. I understand now. Probably want to clean everything inside the home zone? Well, maybe not the fields. Maybe some of the fields. Hi, Kenna, and hi, Ella. Hello to you both. Yeah, okay. Why don't we put this on... on the to-do list at some point in time ever. Finish a game of auction not included. Finish a game. I'm also not sure why nothing's being constructed. I know we don't have marble blocks, which is why I want to build another table, but... Okay, I got a mod that lets you click on resources in your list, and it... Oh, I guess it is showing me where they are, isn't it? No? Maybe? Doesn't seem to be working. Holy. Like, it's not showing me the medicine, like, so this industrial medicine, it doesn't do it, but the heal root it is. It's the itemless selector, so it's supposed to, like, show you where your resources are being kept. And it's only halfway working. Hi there, Agent Zeb! Hello, hello, thank you for the raid! How was your stream? You're playing Going Medieval. Another game on on my list of things to return to. Going Medieval. I hope it was a I hope it was a great stream and welcome in. I'm Jess. 
I'm playing RimWorld for now, and then later we're gonna play Stack Island as part of a sponsorship, and then maybe some demos. It's it's a goal. It's a goal. I hope the stream was great. It was nice. Thank you so much for coming over. We are currently talking about auction not included. Do I do Dwarf Fortress? Yes, I loved it. Also want to play more Dwarf Fortress. And yeah, flamethrower travel times. I I think there's a trick to that. Like you're supposed to use those air shoots. You put your your little um, dupes into them or something. There's transport of some sort. I just never got to that point. You loving the environment update? You just survived your raid on the second attempt. Ah, uh, going medieval. The last time I played going medieval. Ewing Medieval, 2021. June 3rd, 2021. So, a little over two years ago. I imagine it's a very different game now. I didn't like it much back then. Like, it was cool. But clunky. Like, really clunky. I'm sure it's... it's different. Hi, Mojo. Jojo. Are we winning? Yes? <laughs> I think? Okay, so making a second workbench. In hopes that somebody will craft blocks, we should probably put them on crafting if we haven't. Like, what is Emu doing? Emu the visitor. Cleaning dirt. Okay. I did get another chance to do the sponsorship. Yes. On Friday, I was supposed to do the sponsorship for Stack Island, but I encountered a bug. A game-breaking bug where I got locked in the tutorial and I couldn't get out of the tutorial no matter what we tried. But I, I did manage to fix it after the stream. I reported it to the dev and the dev was like, oh, thanks. This is the first reported instance of said bug. And it looks like they've, they've patched it out, hopefully. So it should work this time. I'm just really good at breaking things. How goes the run? It's taking time. It's taking a long time. The colonists are always doing something, but yet somehow nothing that I want to do. There's been great updates and improvements. It's still no Rimworld, but it's definitely fun and playable and lots of nice mechanics. Yeah, I should give it another go. You're right. I should give it another go. Thank you for the raid, Agent Zeb. Have a good lurk. And we will have fun. We will. We just gotta link these shelves together, so now they all share their settings. That was a nice change. You can you can link things together. Shelves. Down here. Um, behind me. Right there. You can link settings, unlink settings, select all linked items. Although, did I unlink them by accident? What did I do? So instead of having to go through and set priorities for every shelf and like what you want to be stored there, you can just link them. So you only have to set your settings technically once. And it's really nice. Everyone needs a hobby. Breaking stuff <laughs> counts. <laughs> Does it? Does it count? What if you don't want to be breaking things? What if I just want it to work? Can I get a Roomba for this colony? They're spending so much time cleaning. <gasps> Ooh! They built the walls finally. Nice. So yeah, this is what I mean. We gotta figure out what to do with the, the inner wall here. I don't think... Oh, it's because they're building this monstrosity down here. That's... that's why nothing is getting built. 
They do have the power lines, though. Most of them. The bulk of them. We're just missing a little bit through there and a little bit down here. I'm making a grow, grow zone to the south for a Devil Strand operation. I want... I want the Strand. The Devil Strand. So up here, I'm gonna make a stronger door, and what I want to do is, I think, make a little solar farm here. I can't do much with this area. It's a hobby turned into a chore. Exactly! Exactly. It's all just a chore. That's why I hate troubleshooting so much. <laughs> That's why I hate it. I get so frustrated by it. Update on the ninjas. They're now friendly, but you still can't heal them without knocking them out first. Oh, Kenshi. Another game on the list. The shuttle arrived for... Oh! Our, our visitors. Get in the shuttle. Oh my gosh, everybody's restricted. I don't remember why we're taking care of them in the first place. They recently rescued two tribes people from jail. They want us to guard them. At not a settlement until they can send a shuttle to collect them. Okay, perfect. They weren't even refugees. Not the betrayer kind. Is Dwarf Fortress on the list? Dwarf Fortress is on my list. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do for that in Jed is probably play it on YouTube. Because there's there's not much Twitch engagement, unfortunately. Sadly. Like there's, there's, there's not really a community for it. That game intimidates, uh, intimidates you. I'm, I'm hitting Diablo buttons. Yeah, no, I don't really have an issue with Dwarf Fortress. I, I actually really like the challenges of Dwarf Fortress. I think it's a, a really interesting and well done game. Just sadly, not many people want to watch it. Except, except, except when the game first came out. Everybody wanted to watch it, but then it very rapidly dropped off. And if there, if there was like an, like RimWorld, you know, RimWorld has an evergreen community. Like there's always people in the RimWorld category wanting to watch and there's always people being introduced to the game. And so it's possible to, still, all these years later, grow a stream off of RimWorld. But that's not the case with Dwarf Fortress. So we unlocked Microelectronics, although I can't do it just yet. I guess we can work on deep water bridges. I really don't feel like Dwarf Fortress is is all that big. I mean, it is. It's a huge game, but the way that Dwarf Fortress intimidates other people does not intimidate me. Oh yeah, reminder. This is your reminder scheduled for the 7th of December, 5501 at 1900 hours. Quest, Fabio. Thank you, past me. What? What about that? Fabio's Tired Nomads. A group of three desperate refugees are approaching, consisting of Fabio uh, and two children he's taken under his wing. They say they were banished from their town due to moral disagreements. He begs for permission to stay for 16 days so they can rest and regroup. So, when you say that you were banished for moral disagreements, perhaps it was they were banished because they um, turned? On the other people? Are they gonna turn on us? I'm... I'm scarred now. 
This is a charity quest. I can't turn away children. <sighs> Just set everybody's work priorities. Now I gotta do it again. The children are not good at doing anything, really. And I don't mean that in a bad way. They're just young and they don't have skills. So I'm going to have them clean and whatnot. Fabio doesn't do much either. Here, every you just clean and haul and do basics. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Scarred for life by the refugees that turned on me. You've seen channels that only play Dwarf Fortress on their Twitch. Yeah, I mean, it, it works. It works for them, but... Yeah, it's just, sadly... Not yet. Maybe maybe one day Dwarf Fortress will have that kind of community. Remote always supplies drama, has good music, and can be chill. It's great viewing material. There's, there's a lot about Dwarf Fortress. In its current implementation, even even with the graphics, that can be a little bit difficult to watch. And also stream, because it's not the most straightforward in some aspects. Child labor? Technically, it's not. Technically, it is not. Because they're not assigned to work. They can do whatever they want. But, you know, just clean up. It's, it's chores. It's chores. In exchange for free food and places to sleep, I just need them to clean a little. Abrasive, chemical fascination, and a body purist. We... This is... Fabio's only 14 themselves, so they're all child... Chil childs. Children, animals, medical, and intellect. Age 11, a wimp and a careful shooter. Age 10, too smart. So they don't have any of their skills developed because they're so young. Major break risk. Dennis. Why, Dennis? Why? Why are you all the way down there? Oh my. Dennis is all sad because because they're cold and stuff, but they're just sitting in the dark far, far away. It is easier for people to follow less invested. Yeah, have you... So, have you seen... Basically, with Dwarf Fortress, have you seen the version of it that's, like, all just symbols and, like, moving colors? Or have you seen the one that actually looks something like this? Like, with actual visuals. Because in December, they released the premium version of Dwarf Fortress that actually has graphics. Before, it was all ASCII. It had sprites. Okay, so then you've seen, you've seen the Steam version. That, that's what I mean. That game is a little hard to follow. Salendre has become an adult and needs some clothing. Put some clothes on, Salendre. <laughs> Numbingly cold because you've got no clothes. Okay, I think it's time to make more clothes, shall we? Welcome to adulthood, Salendre. No longer a child. You're not too opposed to the ASCII tile sets if they're done well. I can't say the same. <laughs> I cannot say the same. It just hurts my brain to look at. So now what I'm working on is finally finishing up my little freezer. 
mining out these components and smoothing the walls so I can run the power line in the wall itself. The pre release had a graphical icon tile set if you use DF hack, but it wasn't great and didn't fix the UI. Why sleep in the freezer? Why? Like on a list of, of places to sleep is freezer at the top of the list. Hi, Nalo! Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? <laughs> Sleeping in the freezer is such a mood. I suppose if you don't have air conditioning, but it's the middle of winter and Dennis is sleeping in the freezer. <laughs> it's chill. Is it? Is it now? Is there more space in the freezer? There's plenty of space with some cute little drawings down here. A thrumbo drawing, a flower. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Maybe it's um, a snowman? You know, like there's there's snowman head and its nose and a stick and a hat. All right, Melissa Salentre Fresh has reached the biological age of 13 and has experienced a growth moment. She has developed a number of new passions by reading about the universe. She wants to spend more time learning about mechanoid gestation and making friends, and is now old enough to smith and research. Choose three skills for Salentre to be passionate about, and a trait. Whoa. This was a growth moment at tier 8. Growth tier 8. Children at a higher tier. The higher growth tiers get more traits and more passion options to choose from, and more passions overall. I don't know what the top tier is. Eight seems pretty high, though. So right now we've got Solentre interested in crafting and animals because of her previous interests. Great memory and nimble. Mechanoid gestation and making friends. So, social. Intellect. And construction. Sounds very mechanoid gestation and making new friends-ish. Intellect for the whole learning thing. Reading about the universe. Construction for building mechanoids and to pair with crafting. And social, for making new friends. As far as a trait goes... I would pick kind, but then we're never gonna... convert... Salentre off of the patriotic doctrine. Quick sleeper is pretty nice. Body modder can be cool, I guess. Night Owl isn't bad either. You have AC, but it's not sufficient. It's too hot. The new UI has lots of issues for you last time you played it. The worst of both worlds. You imagine it'll get better. Yeah, there, there, was, there was a lot of bits about it that were really frustrating. A lot of quality of life things that I hope will come with time. For instance, like if you're trying to build a wall in sections, like with RimWorld, if you're if you're building a wall, you can just select build wall and then just draw wherever you want the wall to go. But in Dwarf Fortress, you can only pick the wall, draw it, and then it deselects the tool. So you have to keep opening it if you're trying to build anything besides a straight line. They can literally make new friends. <laughs> Mechanoid friends. So this this screen is from Biotech. Biotech introduced children to the game, along with some other stuff, but mainly children and other stuff. I'm gonna go with kind. 
It's not often that I have a kind colonist. Wait, 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 wait. Global certainty loss factor times 200. Now that's going to make it easy to convert her. She rarely insults others and will sometimes offer kind words to brighten the moods of those around her. She also never judges people by her appearance. Her agreeableness makes her more likely to conform to prevailing opinions. Yes. This is like... IRL Solentre. Just... the wrong gender. Although I don't know if... Solentre is exactly nimble. <laughs> not that Solentre is not athletic. Maybe not nimble. But great memory and kind? Interested in these things? I'd say yeah. Have a good one, Guardian Bunny, and thanks for stopping by. And I hope you feel better. Hi, Anubis! Exclamation mark wow. Exclamation mark wow. Anubis, thank you for a whole year of support. A whole year. And a tier 3, thank you very much. That is, that's just epic. Thank you so much for the support, Anubis. And happy Tuesday to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, Carlo. There's no keyboard shortcuts. There's UI inconsistencies. It needs so much quality of life stuff. And... Yeah, I mean, if it, if it did come... With an, with an update addressing that stuff, I'm sure I would be all over it again. It did have sh keyboard shortcuts, yes, but the the new the new version of Dwarf Fortress. I need to make a new zone real fast. Let me pause. The new version of Dwarf Fortress has like bits of the old UI, and a new UI like mash together and a lot of the keyboard shortcuts that apparently used to work don't work anymore and it's just weird in some cases like there's a lot of menus that need search functions that don't have it a lots of lots of places that require tooltips or the ability to jump between menus and stuff and it's it's clunky it's clunky you really have to know what you're doing and what you're looking for in order to in order to find what it is that you were looking for. If that makes sense. Okay, I'm just trying to f uh, put Tainted Apparel here. We get rid of it. Putnam is working on the UI consistency. Yeah, they did, they did hire somebody to, to work on the UI. They did indeed. So there's a royal tribute collector here. Basically, this is from the Imperial faction, or whatever you call them. They want prisoners or gold. If we offer them prisoners or gold, they will give us, I think, goodwill. Goodwill with the big boss. Actually going, have a good one, Guardian Bunny. Be well. And Nalu, it's really nice to see you. Anubis, thank you again for the, the tier three. And we're gonna need new clothes. I think a lot of the clothes are probably our three refugees who are gonna be here for a while. One of where's where's Duffy? Where's Duffy? If he doesn't have a bedroom. They should have a bedroom, but they don't. Build copy. Alright, so... We've almost gotten rid of all the standing lamps. Almost. Almost. Do, 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 do. So, to conclude that conversation, can she auction not included more Dwarf Fortress? These are these are games that I'm 
I always want to play more of, but never do. It is 70 degrees inside this big old space. Feel complete, make button down shirt. Looks like Solange put some clothes on, that's good. We also are going to make a helmet. The cylindrate does not have one any longer. 70 Fahrenheit. Sorry, I operate in Fahrenheit. I do have a mod that... Like, over... Wait. Other way. Over here. Do -do 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 -do. Converts for all of you people who use Celsius. And I suppose the only person who needs to be on the night schedule anymore is Chum Lee. Now that Slentray doesn't need lessons any longer. No lessons required. We need to take out the roof that's over here. Because I want to put some solar panels and... Wouldn't you know it? The roof blocks the sunlight. Odd, I know, but we have to remove them. <laughs> so hopefully I set up that bill correctly so that they'll be rid of tainted apparel. And then just throw it out there so it can deteriorate. Hopefully, maybe. We're doing a mod check. Where the mods at? People will reach out about the card game. Hi there, Ziggathy. Um, you, you mean Sack Island? Yes. So I found the the issue. After the stream, we solved it. And I was able to get an extension. So I'll be playing it after RimWorld today. And then after that, maybe some, some, maybe some demos. Also, welcome back. Oh, I don't know what to get. I don't want to build a high-tech research bench until we're ready for it. And we are by no means ready. So we can just finish all the, the early... All the early research. Yes! My bedrooms are almost done, finally! Hey! Finally, finally. What's the check mark? Did you see that check mark? What's this? Surgery use best medicine. Yes, yes. No, no, no. Don't use best medicine because they're gonna use glitter world. I want them to just use the blue stuff for surgery. All right, Slentry's got a helmet. So we've got... Is this just a random rat? Oh, we have some... We have some pets that need names. We have a lot of pets that need names. Wow. We are accumulating rats. Yum. Yummy pet rats. I guess let's start going through it. If you want to join the name raffle, it is exclamation join. I'm just going to start rolling through names. Alpaca 1. We'll do Kenna. I'm just going to do Kenna. Alpaca 2. Lazars. Of course, of course, Lazars. Welcome. Alpaca 3 is Mallory. Alpaca 4 Undeserved Capybara. I'm just gonna say Capybara, alright? Because we don't have enough of a enough tech space 
We're undeserving. You don't have enough tech space. So, pig one is my pig without legs. I think I'll skip that one. Piglet one. Meep! Oh, meep for a baby piglet! Pig two. Uh, J JRS. JRS, welcome to the colony. And hello to you. I hope you, um, have always dreamt about being a pig. Alpaca named Capybara. Why not? <laughs> Why not? And then we're down to the rats. And we're out of names. We're out of names. So we need animal bionics. I don't know at what point we get animal bionics. <laughs> yeah. Join, chat. Join. We've got we've got three rats that need names. Don't you want to be a part of this colony as a rat? <clears throat> All right. Donkey. That was Cody's name. Donkey. <laughs> Rigged. JSOG entered with the name Ratthew. And that's the name that was on. Ratthew. And finally... Invisible Man. Wrong button. Invisible rat. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking a few liberties on the names. Invisible rat. We're finishing research really quickly. I guess let's get xenogenetics. We'll just go through the whole list. A whole list. Let's do it. And everyone's idle. Mm-hmm, we need stuff to do. If you're idle, make blocks. Oops, oops, oops. ah! Okay, I broke it. <laughs> Whoops. Now they should make blocks. What I was trying to do was see if I had better work priorities on, and I guess I'm not using it. I was trying to specify that low-level crafters only make blocks. You can't hear still? Let's see. I named a rat after you and called it Invisible Rat. Jez. Oops. Oh, quest! Nope, expires. Go for it. Three colonists are idle. I don't, I don't really know what else to say. I don't have much to work on right this moment. I guess we could... We could reduce the speed and start planning something. Start making some plans, chat. Some plans. This is 32 across. No, it's only supposed to be 31 across. Because technically the wall's supposed to be here. So, 31 across puts the middle, like, right through there. We have this big old mountain that we can, we can utilize. And a solar flare has occurred, knocking out all the power in the colony. An intense radiation will shut down all electrical devices and should pass in about... A day. 
Sometimes I like to design rooms like this. Like this is where the walls would be. I guess we should fill that back out, huh? I actually had an idea for room shapes and then I didn't save it to my hard drive. So if that's a square. Oops. No, I don't actually hate that. I don't hate that. know how I did it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna remove some edges here and then copy and rotate it till it lines up. It's a circle! I made a circle, that's what I did. I wasn't trying to make a circle. This is why the planning tool is a must-have! The thing is, we also want a hallway. So like, if this is our hallway... And if this is a door, and this is a door... If these are doors... Always with the circles! I wasn't trying to make a circle, it's just what happened. Also, I did not copy the other side correctly. I forgot to... mirror it. I only rotated it. We have to hit... whoops. H. And now it's mirrored. There. Removing the plans, and then copying these, and then mirror them. Suppose that doesn't matter. Okay. So, hallway. I'm trying to do a new design of some sort. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Wait, is this eight? Oh no. How's that possible? Oh no, it's gotta be one higher. You can't accuse Jess's colony of not being well rounded. Oh, you can't accuse my colony of not being well-rounded. Just a puppy, thank you for the hundred bits. <laughs> the colony is well-rounded, all right. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, look, 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 look. I made a different shape besides a circle. It's a bean. I made a bean. It's a bean. It's a Pac-Man. I actually think if I did this, it's even more Pac-Man. It's, it's definitely a Pac-Man. 
you Pac-Man kissing? Hi, Mike Monkey. It's a lily pad. And hi, someone over there. Hello to you all. I liked it better like this. Chibi kidneys. <laughs> The whole base looks like a robot face. It does! Like, here's some robot eyes. And, like, there's a robot mouth. And some robot ears. Can I make it yellow? I could make it yellow. I'm just going to build over it, though. The reason why I... ...use colors was more to mentally differentiate to myself, like, what went where. So, the orange is the hallway. The orange is the hallway. And yeah, we are going to want to put the wall back here. No, I just mined it out. But it's going back. Alright, perfect. Out of all the things that it could possibly look like, I think it... Pac-Man, but I think lily pads, yeah. I think lily pad is the right answer. And then I gotta figure out something to do with these bedrooms, because the area in the center really bothers me. I tried out some, some door fortress bedroom styles, and can't say I'm a fan. So if I did this... Actually, let's use black because it looks more like the floor below it. Yeah, 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 yeah. bad, I guess. Like, if I just take these two corners off? Of uh, every room? Like so? And just the edge rooms could have the little wiggly bits to them? It still leaves the bit in the center, but it will maybe look a little nicer. In this game, they care about the rooms. In Dwarf Fortress, they don't. Yeah. I know, I was... I was just... Going with the flow. And see what happens. Seeing what happened. So, the only issue I have with this is a lot of this is under thick roof. <laughs> Which is a really bad spot for a research lab. But I might do it anyway. These are also just really huge rooms in general. Very large in general. Oh, right. Solar panels, let's do it. Thunder power. So, solar... Solar panels generate how much? It doesn't say. It doesn't say how much they generate. I don't know how many to build. The sun lamps. Is it two per sun lamp or three per sun lamp? I cannot remember. Where is the smooth button? Here it is. How... How big are they in kernel? 
Hi, Erica Boo. It is, you believe it is tube or sun lamp? Hmm, I don't, I don't remember, to be honest. Because I made this down here, and... I was thinking I'd only put two sun lamps. But then I realized, like, look how much... Row zone I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be missing out on there. The whole box almost is... Um... High fertility, so... I do not remember where anything is. Click, click, click. Furniture. Yeah, sun lamp. So... Like... I was thinking of doing this? But how many more... Slots does that give me? It gives me... Four... 10? 20? 20 additional... tiles of... Row zone? Is that worth it for a whole sun lamp? It's weird you can't have... half sun lamps. You believe they get 1700 watts each while the sun lamp uses 2700. I suppose we'll see once they're built, won't we? I don't have the, the wall light sun lamps, I don't think. Did I? No. No. Nope. Hi there, prom Promisin. Is it Promisin or Promisin? Hello, hello. Doesn't seem worth it to you, but you didn't do the math. And I'm gonna have to see what one sun lamp looks like. And also, how much power output we have during the day. Promycin. 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 Each solar panel takes 100 steel and 3 components. A psychic Sooth. Okay, they are topping out at 1700. Yes. And sun lamps are consuming 2900. So close. But two sun lamps are two solar panels, then gives us uh, 3400 watts. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Mathing it out mentally, not my strong suit. If I have three solar panels, 5,100, right? 5,100 5, watts. Nope, I, I already lost my train of thought. <laughs> I'm really bad at mental math. Okay, 1,700 plus 1,700 plus 1,700 is 2,100 plus 3,000... Yeah, 5,100. And then two of these is 18 plus 4, uh, 5,800. 51 to 58? Yeah, so we would need four. The excess solar panel does not provide enough energy does not. Oh, you know what? I regret putting these here. <laughs> I want to move them over one tile. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> so even with the excess solar generated, I think we would need five solar panels in order to run three grow lamps. Roughly. The question is, how many extra growing tiles do we gain for the cost of an additional sun lamp and two solar panels? 20? Cilantro is on an insulting spree. Literally kind and unlikely to go on insulting sprees. And is having one right now. Because you know what? We failed to rescue Marta. I don't think 
it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it, sadly. Oh, this is alright. These solar panels aren't permanent, so I'd rather... I'd rather not... use a bunch of materials on them right this moment. All of this is gonna move, you know? This is not the final positions position for a lot of this. You hate trying to line it all up with the normal sun lamps? Yeah, I get that. At least the lunch is down here alone. Let's create... There's a nifty little button back here. Create grow zone if you click on the sun lamp. Oop. Done. You don't even have to draw it out yourself. I'm going to plant double strand. And also... Double strand. That's why we made this down here. That way we could grow double strand all year long. Because we don't have a large enough... Growing period. Hopefully with the addition of the solar panels, we are not going to burn through our power. We are storing extra. Yay! Because don't forget, we have a geothermal generator too. And also windmills, but I want to take the windmills out. They're in the way. They're in the way of my planned defenses. And I suppose they would make more sense in the field. I don't think a fence blocks the windmill, right? I don't think so. But we have these spots of rocks out in the yard that we could we could definitely just shove some, some windmills in. We got xenogenetics, which I don't really know what that does because I don't think I've messed with it. We can use this run as an opportunity to explore biotech as well. Since it's going to be such a long-lived colony, we're going to be able to mess with all the mechanics. Which was part of my goal, too. I wanted a colony that I could play in the background for a long time, and also a colony that would reach a stage that was mature enough to really explore in depth royalty like I've never done, and also biotech. I guess carpet making... Just go down the line. Oh, Solentre's insulting Vandalier. <laughs> Solentre called Vandalier a reindeer. And then compared Vandalier to a liar bird. Vandalier hurled invective about Solentre's father's crafting skills. Solentre compared Vandalier's father to a locust. Your father sucks at crafting. Yeah, well, your father's a locust. Yeah, well, your hairstyle sucks. Yeah, well, you stink at talking. Yeah, well, Slendry, you're a quail. Yeah? Well, you're a dog. <laughs> well, it's just that argument. <laughs> Goofballs. Yep, yep, yep. This is all home zone now. gonna take some time. Hi, Guru! How's the colony? I am currently deep in thought. Trying to... Oh, yeah. Randy also keeps sending a lot of manhunter packs. Manhunter packs, wild animals, and small raids. Is it just a boom rat? No, it's multiple boom rats. Are attacking. I'm just gonna unlock the door, I think. <laughs> it's going well. I am in the stage where I'm I'm trying to envision a stage two colony, you know? I've I kinda have it in my brain like stage one colony, stage two colony, and then stage three, and boop. 
The stage two to stage three is is where I struggle, so I'm trying to get ahead of it. And when I say I struggle with it, I mean I get really, really particular about where things have to go, and it drives me crazy if things don't line up perfectly. <laughs> so I'm just trying to save myself from that future. Hi, Dovaki. Nice to see you. How are you doing? All right, we're gonna hide. We're going to hide from these boom rats, although they are going to find us. At the rate we're going, they will find us. But they split up. Mm, we should make some fire foam poppers. Alright, stop, drop, and roll, everybody. <laughs> Where is the other three? Up there. We should make fire foam. I made one fire foam popper in the hospital, but we can't forget about the freezer. Um. Whoa. There's a boom rat on the run. Keep an eye on those. The mini map. I forget about the mini map. Okay, yeah, one, one, and one's on the way. I got the mini-map specifically so... I wouldn't have to stare at the map myself, but then I just... I'm not using it. Do 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 bro. Okay, we, we, we got more coming. They're, they're all on the way, there's no hiding from these. Yeah, Chum Lee got kind of blown up. Run, Fabio, run! And then there's one more. So why is everybody in such a bad mood? Insulted times four. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you about that. Sorry. And low food, because they eat so much. And we're not really growing that much food. We should probably... Instead of growing Devil Strand... Grow something else besides Devil Strand here for a season. But... I won't do it! Nope. Why do they sometimes decide that they're going to attack? Like, they'll just hang out in the corner of the map and then just randomly be like, Yeah, no, I'm... I'm on it this time. <laughs> and before everybody gets blown up. How come nobody's built this? This is driving me crazy. Sandstone bridge. Oh, it's a bridge. Gotcha. Let's make a granite bridge. <laughs> um, okay. Unrestricted. Boop. We a boopin'? We're boopin'. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need more food. Um, why don't we turn the heel root into rice? And while we're at it, let's go hunting. Hunting, hunting, hunting. We've got horses. And deer. I think Solandre might have just made everybody upset. We got- we're in a bad mood, Vandalier insulted five times, and trees ravaged. 
Whoopsies. The escalator insulted four times. Minus 17. Also, we have enslaved nobody. We have sad youngsters. And, um... Not adhering to the high life meme. They want to be back in the high life again. Who makes more school desks? Or Duffy and Dennis? Work is demanding. Silly work. Just tell it to go away. Just tell that work to go away. Work? Go away. Utopian, hello, how are you? Beavers! Wait, 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 wait. A group of hungry alpha beavers have just arrived. Try to eliminate them before they decimate every last source of wood in the region. Yeah, so how does this affect our tree lovers? You wish? Yeah, maybe don't tell work to go away. Work, go away! If we don't tear the trees down... Does it matter? Does, does anybody know the answer to this? Yes, Cody. If if the beavers destroy the trees, do we have to deal with the debuff? Or is it only if the colonists themselves chop the trees down? I guess we should hunt the beavers too. Oh my. There's a 50% chance we'll attack back. You'll be sad there's no trees, but less sad than if we destroy the trees. Okay. I- I gotcha. It's only if the colonists do. In the past, at least you could burn trees in order to use them for wood. Where are the beavers? The big old group of them. Can you just say that you're really happy that I'm happy? I seem a lot more energetic lately. <laughs> but yeah, the vacation really helped, Cody. It really helped. It was a nice reset and it was super needed. Super duper duper duper. But I'm glad that you're happy I'm happy. <laughs> All's well for you. It's trying to wind down work-wise as you're having a long weekend. For a trip to Dublin, what are you going to do in Dublin? I kind of want to send Ben on a hunting mission, but I'm really worried that Ben is going to be mauled to death by alpha beavers. So you know what I'll do? I'll save. I I'm, I'll make a save, so that way when... I mean, if, not when, but if Ben is mauled to death by alpha beavers... <laughs> he can reload and say, I told you so. It's the biggest city in the world because it's always Dublin. <laughs> uh, Vandalier dug up a corpse? Dug up Alex Alistair's corpse. Vandalier is currently having a corpse obsession. I don't know why. Yes, I do. Trees ravaged. So, he dug up Alistair's body and has put it on display for all to see, but we have to find where that is. Oh. Right there. Yep. Yeah, sadly, Alistair is desiccated. Meaning we will not be reviving Alistair. That's my fault because I accidentally... ...called the freezer. Barkle Gamegalu, the great chief of the Gaga Confederacy, is requesting a favor. His friend Risling Bacchus is interested in learning about other cultures and she wants you to host her and not a settlement for 19 days. Bacchus will do no work and needs quality accommodations. If we keep their mood above 50%, we can get a Silent Neuroformer, which is what? A consumable architect created device that forms or upgrades a Silent in the user's mind. The user presses the device into the eyes, yummy, where it links to the brain directly and restructures a part of it. Afterwards, the device disintegrates into worthless ash. That forms or upgrades a Silent. What are you destroying? The final straw was Psyche withdrawal. But random stuff. We have to keep them here for 19 days? 
Jeez, final, except for Goodwill. Bacchus. <laughs> Here, you can live you can live there, Bacchus. Enjoy your room. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You'd be worried about Ben? Oh, I'm a, I'm a little bit worried about Ben, too. <laughs> You're going to go see Peter Gabriel. You normally go to Glassblow for gigs, but you felt like a change. That's cool! That's really, really cool. I hope it's a great concert. Look, you all are hungry because you're on mental breaks, not because there's no food. A good crafter? He doesn't do work. Bacchus. Literally nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing. Incapable of all work. And cleaning. And caring. And art. Incapable of all work, cleaning, art, and doesn't care. About that. Roberto's having a, a smashy mood. Smashing things in her room because of poor mood. Why would a highly advanced civilization create a device that disintegrates after one use? Because, actually... If I remember correctly, the Silic Neuroformer... ...is how they form... ...or, um... Hold on. Uh, oh, no, I can't see it now. Isn't it how they form the ability to use the psychasts, which are basically like rimworld magic. And if they are used through unofficial means, it's considered like an intergalactic intergalactic felony. Or something. <laughs> something of the sort. Alright, we got one alpha beaver. Only a bunch more to go. There's a visit to Guinness planned? That sounds like fun! Are you going just yourself or with somebody else? So... Of course, this is... This is all if I'm thinking about that correctly. If I'm, if I'm remembering the bits and the details properly. But yeah. I'm fairly certain that is why. Because they only want the Psylink Neuroformer to be used by approved individuals through approved channels. They being the big kids on the block, the faction, the Grey Empire, an Ultratech refugee society from planet Sophia Munda. Their culture is based on a code of honor, a strict class system, and enforced social status. These are the survivors of a great calamity that tore apart the Sophian society. They fled to the Rimworld using remnants of their fleet. Despite losing so much, their ships and technology still make them quite powerful. Oh no, Alpha Beaver Revenge. It's just one. It's, it, I don't know where the others went. But it's, it's just one. You can do this, Ben! Run! Run, Ben, run! I'll help you out by taking control. Wow. Way to miss. Okay, I tried to help you out. I'll, I'll send... I'll send Chum Lee. Chumley will be there one day. Dublin's pretty close to Islay, where the most precious fluids are created. Wow, Ben just... Ben just took on that... that beaver and, um... won... won the fight. No problem. Just 
Took it on with his fists. Everyone's got the plague suddenly! Ah! <laughs> You're going with your older brother. Maybe the last gig you do before he moves to Australia if the plans go ahead. Australia. I mean, I guess you could do a, another gig in Australia itself, right? Maybe. Hi. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. Hello. All right. Nope, Ben. It's plague. Plague time. Time to deal with the plague. Medical bed. Build copy. <laughs> oh no, Dennis. <laughs> I'm laughing, but Dennis got the plague and just fell over. It is somewhere to visit if you can suffer a plane that long. I wonder how long a flight to Australia would be for me. Where are my doctors at? Pretty much just Shumley and Fabio. Slentry does not require tending. Cease. At least Bacchus didn't get the plague, right? That would have been unfortunate. So who else needs to be treated for the plague? Um, looks like Vandalier. Why is this locked on you? Oh, I was following Duffy. Both of them need tending? Yeah, they do. So... We'll send Dr. Fabio to take care of Ben afterwards. A 20 hour flight? Couldn't do it. I don't think I could do it. We recently had a raid from the Talking Pirates and captured a few of them. Two of them became lovers, proposed marriage to each other while in your prison. I've had that happen once before. Isn't it so cute? At this point in time, everybody is affected by the plague or everyone who's affected by the plague, is doing very poorly. And I can tell at a glance because this little symbol next to all of their portraits is red, which means they're currently dying. Yellow means they're... they're in the gray. And green means good. Green means they shall recover. Their prognosis is good. Mmm. Looks like Roberto's in the yellow. Awesome. Everybody else, though. Not looking so good. The average flight from Germany to Australia is 17 hours and 37 minutes. That is too long. I'm gonna build another medical bed. Another one. Maybe put some sterile tiles in there. Maybe just connect these two rooms entirely so they can just be a big hospital. Rather than two small hospitals. That seems like an idea. Doesn't it? Yeah, so I suppose just opposite directions, right? Germany to Australia versus where we are to Australia. Roughly the same, 17 plus hours. I, I don't know that I could do it. Where is steel normally on the raw resource list? Are we just actually out of steel? That surprises me, to be honest. Guess we can dig this steel out right there. Shortest flight from Vegas is 16 hours. Oh my gosh.
I'm not really sure how to read the medical tab. It looks like Dennis is doing okay. I, th I think Dennis is going to catch up on on the plaguiness. Dennis should be in the yellow soon. Bacchus is starving. Shun Li. I'm going to swap you to industrial. Vandalier. Not sure about. And Ben. I'm swapping them. They're both too low on on the progress oh my gosh wait Bacchus landed in this spot of all the places that he could possibly drop pod into this colony he landed in the freezer hole in the chimney like Santa Bacchus landed like Santa I was like how are you possibly starving we have food well, we gotta let him out we're definitely not keeping his mood but 50% like this. It's probably super hot in there, too. Yeah, uh, I am gonna build some sandbags in there right now. Don't know what kind of leathers we have. Camel hide? Let's make them out of camel hide. I need someone to build this right this moment. Because now we're just venting hot air into the freezer. Thank you very much. Yeah, if you, I always forget about the sandbags, literally every time. But if you just place something like sandbags there, yes. It should help. Lights? I'm in here. Maybe he has some food restrictions. Yeah, like um, being restricted. <laughs> <laughs> Being restricted to the chimney. We're missing 45 steel. Okay, let's make wooden beds then. That would explain where all my wood went. A door that is held open should work too. The sandbag was really cheap. It was five, five leather. Yeah, these, these three. I need to up their bed rest. Ben, Vandalier, and. Chumley, because they're not doing well. I up their medication quality. But we, we have we have time to react to this. We, we got time. And Vandalier. Yikes. So their next their next medical treatment should be Lost my train of thought. <laughs> Their next medical treatment should be um, industrial medicine. If that doesn't do the trick, we'll up it to glitter world. They shouldn't die from this. We've got we've got the the means to stop them from dying. Dennis went from green back to yellow, which isn't good. Alistair Decoy is pregnant. He did it on a dare. Watch me at that chimney over there with my drop pod and then get stuck and then have a mood below 50%, which it probably brought my average down quite a bit. Darkness slept on the ground. Yeah, you know what? You're gonna take... Sorry, the escalator. We're gonna move here. That's gonna be Bacchus's room. So Bacchus should have a better room. We have many more days to take care of him, though. Her. 
take care of her. Uncovered groin and chest. I, I don't like displaying my, my private ports, parts or my chest. What are you wearing? You don't have pants on. Put on some pants. What are you doing? Slept on the ground, slept in the cold. No, 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 All of that should be addressed now. No pants, never. Yes, pants. Oh, Chumley's in the yellow. Good news. Vandalier is down, down, down. And be tended like any moment. Intended right this moment. Wake up. Dr. Fabio! Hi, Ronin6! Hello! Pants are required? You're out. Yeah, I know, right? Pants? Who wears pants these days? Can tend now. Okay, we'll see how they do off of that tend. They're getting to the danger zone now. So I'll up them the glitter world if they don't improve. Fabio's not the best doctor. In fact, I'm just gonna preemptively put them on glitter world. So I don't forget. <laughs> How am I today? I'm alright. I'm, I'm doing well. I'm having fun with Rimworld, as usual. Enjoying myself some Rimworld. Although I'm really worried that Vandalier and Ben are gonna die. To the plague. Why are they flashing red? Oh, because it's extreme plague. Oh, yeah. I think, I think they'll be okay. Maybe we should have just opted for Glitter World right then and there. It might be okay. You too, a new colony. You just got back from learning how to do your dad's physical therapy stuff at home until he can walk again. Oh, interesting. So what does that entail exactly? Also, thank you so much for the follows. Welcome, welcome. This is this isn't looking good. Oh no, Ben's so dead. Ugh, I know it's a medical emergency. What am I supposed to do? I can't tend this yet. I sh I should have I should have just gone straight for Glitter World. Why are you dying? Stop dying! Would Glitter World have even worked? I don't know. When's the last autosave? Three minutes ago? There there was one... One this minute, and... Hopefully this one will let me try... Glitter World Medicine. I want to see if that will... If that will do the trick. So... Have we treated this yet? No. Perfect. So we were on industrial strength medicine and look at the gap. The gap actually went up in the tend or between plague and immunity. It was only 5% and it was at like nine. So it must have been the 10 quality. So we'll put these two on Glitter World and let's try treating Ben first. I'm not sure if it was the doctor. Maybe it was the doctor. Oh yeah, because Fabio's in psychic withdrawal. So yeah, his doctoring ability. Hold on, there's a way to determine how good that is right now. Medical attend quality. Because of health, Drops to 42%. Mmm. 
So, if we were to use, say, the escalator, the escalator's doctoring is a four. But if you go into their info, you can see medical 10 quality 49 because of their base skill. 49%. Chun Li, despite being sick, has a medical of nine. 95% chance. Because of the skill... I can't move my mouse. Their skill of 9 brings them up to 110%. Their health takes them down to 86%. So we should be having Chum Lee doing the treatment. Okay. Just helping... Oh, my, my chat did not scroll. Just helping him out of bed, cooking for himself like that, until he recovers from the femoral, femoral bypass. That's, that's nice of you to do that for him. I hope you recover swiftly. And hi, hello, Tangent. Hello, Tangent. You hope you can keep your medical and dexterity high enough to keep him going. I think so. So we can tend again in one hour. I thought that we'd be able to get two... Two rounds of tending in, but... I guess it's only one. Lights? Seriously? Stop it. <laughs> Hello, Strimmer. No! Ben! Can we still treat him with Glitterwald? I really don't want Ben to die. How do I change the kind of medicine they hold in their pockets? So, like, pick up Glitter World. Tend to yourself, and then... I want to see if we can, like, walk out here and tend to Ben while in a daze with Glitter World. Yeah, okay, you can. You can just put Glitter World in your pockets. Cool. So despite Den Ben being in a ga daze, goodness gracious, tongue twisters, that might help. I don't know, Ben's not resting anymore, so it still might not. I'm not gonna save scum for you again, Ben. If you die here, this is your fault. <laughs> if you die here, this is your fault. Also, we should make, make it so that everyone carries medicine in their pockets. You're all liquorated. It appears to be improving. We also got a decent tent with Glitter World fairly early. So despite the aimless wandering in a snowstorm... The Glitter World might do it. Bandelier, on the other hand, is rapidly improving. Look how much faster this is with Glitter World. Four, five, six, seven. It's like every half second. Four, five. It's definitely slower. I'm not sure it will catch up. At least he's eating. Yeah, it's under it's under gear. I got a mod that changes these from words to icons, and I still haven't learned what they mean. So, Fandelier's gonna recover. GG Glitter World. I'm not sure about Ben. I think Ben would have survived. Maybe. If there hadn't been a mental break. That's gonna be really sad, though, because Ben is Chumley's... ...son. Well, I guess we can always... queue up another grave. Sunly! Yeah. Mm. 
Ooh, and we might get lucky and be able to do one more ton. It is catching up, is it? Yeah. We're down to a 4% gap. It's gone from like 7 to 4. It's just the days. Colonist needs rescue. Oh, Ben fell over. I know I said that like I'm happy, but I, I kind of am because now you're going to go to bed. Extreme plague. Ooh, it's a close call. It's an extremely close call. I gotta keep Chum Lee in the room. Canton, like right now. Arr! Okay, we should be able to do it now. No? Ben to Ben. Why so slow? Ah! We got it. This is another close call. Like, super close call. See how much better Ben's doing now that Ben went to sleep? Sorry. You're, you're free to go. <laughs> or lay on the floor. Stand here. trying to decide if your son lives or dies. It's really close, and I don't think it's gonna happen. This is just like... <sighs> this is just like the muffalo. It is just like the muffalo! Curses. Construction skill too low. 0.9% short. It was even worse when, when we had... when we had the pet muffalo. <sighs> Bummer. You can't say we didn't try. Poor Ben. Now we have nobody to... Keeping people in quality beds while they're important is super sick. Or... <laughs> keeping people in bed while they're sick is super important. Yes. Sure is. That's why having a mental break is no good. If Ben hadn't had a mental break, it would have been fine. Or if Ben would have collapsed sooner from the plague, it would have been fine. I don't even think it was the bed. The bed itself is normal quality. Do 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 do. Yeah, Chum Lee is in a bad mood. My friend Ben died, observed a corpse, sad youngsters, trees missing, witnessed an ally's death, um, sick, insulted, unsightly environment, witnessed a family member's death, intense pain, trees ravaged, my son died. Can you arrest the mother having a mental break? Can't they still fight back? It would have been even worse if they fought back. Sleep frame. Hey, Wolfborn. Gave up. <laughs> Chum Lee has decided to give up on this community. The final straw was trees ravaged. Not my son died, but trees ravaged. Okay, why? I hope you're doing well. Both sleep frame, Wolfborn. The person with high social, it was the other person who was suffering from extreme plague. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now the person who was suffering from extreme plague with high social is giving up and leaving. I don't remember how to deal with this. Do I just arrest them? And I think I arrest them and re-recruit. Is what I do. Oh, berserk. We're gonna switch to our fists if I can figure out how. There we go. And attack with our fists, okay? Yeah, got it. None of my colonists are really meleeers, though. We have to draft, arrest, and release them after they've been put in the prison. I don't know if that works anymore. I thought that was patched out. Feeling depressed. Yeah. <laughs> I forget what the details were. I, I definitely thought that was patched out. Like, you couldn't just throw them in a prison cell and then walk away. Or put them in the prison cell and release them. <laughs> Cody wants some help playing Power Wash Simulator. Maybe we'll find more steel in here. Okay, well, maybe we can... we can... maintain hope that, uh, we can... resurrect Ben. From the eternal slumber. Went from hunting alpha beavers to being dead. Life is cruel. You need to be very experienced, really, for, to get achievements in Power Wash Sim. You've got everything done but three gold medals. And they're in timeout? You can do it, Cody. You can do it, I believe. I've never played Power Wash Simulator, so I can't imagine using the wrong nozzle. An animal tree has died. <laughs> and emitted a disturbing psychic scream. Chum Lee had a mental breakdown, I assume because of the tree, but ultimately because my son died and is slaughtering animals and instantly slaughtered invisible rat. I, I guess the invisibility didn't help you in the end. Where did you go? Who are you off to slaughter now? I'm just gonna let it happen, sadly. Because... This mood is so bad, I need a catharsis. I need a catharsis. And... I'm, I'm not so certain who we're gonna go for. Oops. I need somebody to come harvest plants. It's a speed run and they stress you out. Ooh, wait, you have to speed run for achievements? That's icky. I don't like that. 
My lover Ben died. Oh no. Can we have raids instead of this mental breaking? It's not the best, is it? Roberto's a slaughterer! Because trees ravaged. It's the alpha beavers. Aww. Cheer us, the pig has been slaughtered. Can anybody else cook? Yeah? Yeah, we can we can do that. I'm sorry, my colony is doing doing a thing right now. Everyone's very sad and upset. Where are you possibly going? All the way down here. To do what? Wandering. Hmm... Wait... I thought I said to cook. Oh, I see what's happening. I see. Hi, Voodoo-Lilium! Hello, hello. How's it going? I think I at least want to recover from this immediate bit of unhappiness that the colony is going through. And and then and then take a break. It's a pretty ch chill day so far. It's been a pretty chill day of Rimworld. Other than coming home to find that your cat threw up while you were out. <laughs> Could be worse, I guess. Are we... <sighs> Cilantro is kind and not supposed to... go on insulting sprees. That's the whole point of the kindness trait. And it's still upset about failing to rescue Marta. But yeah, being kind. Exceptionally agreeable and a giving person, rarely insults others, and will sometimes offer kind words to brighten the moods. The only mental break Slentre's had since becoming kind is insulting sprees. Look, get it together. Get it together, team. We're a team. One of your cats is super prone to hairballs, so you're used to it. Ew, hairball vomit. <laughs> it's hard work biting your tongue most of the time. I'm asking the colony to chill out. Meanwhile, Randy sends you a cold snap to chill your entire colony. Yeah, I hope that doesn't happen. I hope that doesn't happen. Because... I think we just... we would die. You can't just harvest one plant. I need you to harvest more than that. It's negative 15 degrees now at your colony. Chilly. Ray just came into your living room meowing and is now flopped on the floor. Cute! Cute, Gray. What's wrong with Dennis? Learning starved. I'm, I'm trying to fix that. Where is there? I think that they're learning starved because my teacher... 
has been sick and had the plague and stuff. I only have one teacher. Ew. That's gross, Bark Arrester. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't walk in it. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't walk in it. Am I a vampire or something? These lights refuse to believe that I am here. Maybe I sit a little bit too far away from the motion sensor. Maybe that's it. Ew! I have two. <laughs> I have to. Reminds you of the episode of Better Off Ted. I've seen the first few episodes of Better Off Ted, but I haven't seen the whole show. Maybe I sit still for the motion sensor, but even when I wave my arms, it still doesn't see me. I think we're gonna fail the quest with Bacchus. I think we might fail. The one that irritated you the most is when you threw up on your bed in the evening, so you had to wait for your sheets to get washed and dried, and then make your bed, then <laughs> go to sleep. Fabio is having a crisis of belief. Their certainty in the Legion of Shiva is reduced to 49%. This would be a good time to try and convert you, wouldn't it? I think I've only had the cat puke on the bed like one time ever. But... Around the time we first adopted Emmy... <laughs> she was... Mostly house trained. <laughs> She was really excited. Like, really, 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 really heckin' excited. And was on the bed, and she just peed all over it. <laughs> I don't remember what she was excited about. She was just like, I'm a puppy! I'm so excited! I can't control my bladder! <laughs> and I was just like... <sighs> okay. <laughs> Luckily, we have... The, like under the like mattress cover that is meant to protect your mattress against exactly that with with the uh, three pets you know we don't take risks we've got the the mattress protector for liquids and stuff which at that moment i had like a thanks past jess for having the foresight to get one of these <laughs> Oh, goodness, but yeah, I... I just... I couldn't even be mad. Like, I can't get mad at her for that. It was more like... I think I just laughed. Like, I think I sighed. Like, oh no. Laughed, and then was like, okay... It's time to go outside. <laughs> we need to go outside. She... That was the one and only time she did that. I think she just was... So excited. Your friend has a problem with the dog occasionally burying dead things in the bed. That's gross. That's so gross. Oh, man. That's gross. You have a fully grown dog that still wets herself when she gets overexcited. <laughs> does, she, does she pee the bed? When your cats were kittens, you changed to another litter that smelled a lot different. Different. So Shadow thought it was a sandbox, and he went into the litter box and laid down and was chilling in there. My cat did that somewhat recently. He used to do that when he was a kitten, like he would go and chill in the litter box. But... <laughs> recently, we were like... With the whole litter box shenanigans that we had going on for a while. I would put him in his box, and he would just be like... Hmm, I'm gonna sit here. Now what? And he would just look me in the eye like... I'm sitting in here. Until you move. And let me out of the box. <laughs> I'll make myself comfortable, thank you. 
Roy likes to back up like a truck and poop on the... <laughs> uh, pets, man. <laughs> Gotta love them. Relaxing socially. I'm sorry. No, you're not. You are harvesting rice plants. All of them. Beep. 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 Speaking of that, it's been a minute since we played... A long minute since we played SnowRunner. SnowRunner was really fun. Yeah, same. My cat... My cat pees on... To him, the right side. All the time. Like, that's just where... Where he lines up. I, I don't know why. <laughs> Roy! But he is a bad neighbor. No, it's also been a while since we played. The tavern song? Do you want the OG or the remix? Tavern song! It is really easy to... There's a remix. Yeah, okay, that's it. We're playing the remix. Remix. You have two litter boxes and no. Yeah, we have two litter boxes and he... I don't... I don't really know what his deal is. He just uses either. The original's better. Okay, we'll listen to that one after. This is the... Drinks and Industry song from... Dwarf Fortress. It was remixed for Blind IRL during the Dwarf Fortress Hot Potato Charity event. It is pretty sped up, yeah, a little bit. Do 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 do. I'm not sure how to help these children. Like, I'm, I'm trying to fulfill their learning, but... Oh, yeah. You know what would help? Is for the children to be on the same schedule as the adult that does the teaching, huh? That makes sense. <laughs> oh, wait. Not Bacchus. Bacchus? Oh, not Bacchus. Here, Bacchus, do whatever you want. Maybe you should also, I don't know, go be unrestricted. I don't care. You think I'll find that it's actually called the Tavern Song? <laughs> this song does only play if your dwarves have a tavern party, so yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, so, I mean, all of today we've done a whole lot of nothing, really. We could have a Fiesta of Bliss. The Shivas can have a special celebration. Uh, there's... Uh, this is actually in Dwarf Fortress. Yes, it's a... It's not a default song in the... In the soundtrack. Sorry. It is a song in the soundtrack. It doesn't play by default. You have to satisfy certain conditions. Which are a little bit obscure, but it's mostly... It's mostly... Setting up a tavern of high enough quality, high enough beauty, and... Like, your doors have to be in a good mood, and you have to have, like, lots of ale, and a dance space and stuff. So if you manage to satisfy all those, your dwarves will do this. They'll start singing, and then they'll have a, they'll have a dance party. And so this is the original song. The other one was just a charity hype remix. Double tavern song. Yeah, you get two for one. 
That's how much I like you all. Hi, Alistair! This is the Dwarf Fortress Owl impression. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I listened to this song this morning, actually. It came on in my my morning music shuffle. Typically, you cannot build walls over mountains like this. I'm using a mod that allows me to do exactly this, replace things. So I'm replacing the mountain with walls. If you do this in vanilla, you have to mine this all out. And then put the walls in. I'm saving myself some time. And if you continue to improve their life conditions, we'll eventually in the TV and Twitter. The dwarves will. Beat! Windmill! Alistair, how are you doing today? Okay, I'm taking this one out then, because I really want to close this wall off, and... <laughs> it's gonna... it's gonna be blocked! And now I've got my mod that lets me, uh, just pause the music and change the songs in RimWorld! I love it! Tired, but good. Me too. Although, I have no reason to be tired. Um, nope, don't... don't slaughter the rat. I realize I did not build this correctly. This song is quieter than the others. Problem has been nagging you that you had to solve before joining the stream. <laughs> JSOG's busy. You have to be the mod. <laughs> busy, busy JSOG. Yeah, the Alpha Beavers are eating up everything on the map. Maybe... Maybe they'll go away. Okay, they are recovering from the trees being damaged and the anima screaming and the fact that Ben died. We're, we're getting over it. Also, now the youngsters should not be as unhappy because I put them on the same schedule as the teacher, which... I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. There we go. I have expect JSOG to be like, I'm busy playing Diablo. <laughs> I'm busy. Combat supplier. I hope they have some food, because we don't. Oh, Vandalier's back up. No longer. In a catatonic breakdown. I actually need to do a rifle swap. Do you see a chain shotgun? Corpse Obsession. Because ravenously hungry. We're digging up a corpse so that may, we may eat it. Cody's power washing. <laughs> Cody's power washing. There's no time. 
There's no time to moderate. I cannot afford this medicine. I can't afford 12 medicine. Also, they have no... No food. But now we have medicine, so... Win? He's modding for D4. <laughs> You've earned five vacation days on Diablo and Roy in the last two weeks. <laughs> There's a dangerous temperature. I hope the plants don't die. Maybe we can get a, a small mood buff for... ...dealing with the plants. Very small. Minor passion for my work, plus eight. Carpets! I forgot we were doing that. A harp? What was that? Slaughterer? Mallory the alpaca has died. This colony is full of slaughterers! Sorry, sorry, George. <laughs> sorry! Mods aren't modding time to riot. Not Raphew! Oh, Jeez, Roberto. All the food is going to the animals. <laughs> I mean, that's important too, I guess. But they can eat the flowers. We're gonna eat this rice. Can I pause the store... the... the, um, uh, pile? Can I pause it? I guess we could just do that to pause it. Turn off storage. Nerve, thank you for the wrist stretch. You need a lurk emote with a hammer that peeks out. A hammer. Now maybe you can become a colonist. I mean, the, the bright side of the slaughterer is yes, we are making food. Personally, I hope you're not abusing your work from home privilege, but between your neck issues and that you've been, we've been working on and the allergy allergies, you didn't want to go in and sneeze all day. It hurts to sneeze. I'm sure I'm sure they appreciate their coworkers appreciate not being sneezed on all day. You know what I mean? <laughs> I would appreciate it. A raid! A group of pigs from Com Comol Puo are attacking. Well, this is our first raid with more than two members. Did they, were they attacking immediately? Yes, they are. Alright, everybody. Get in formation. You're not a quiet sneezer. <laughs> Bacchus? Don't you dare go out there. Okay, here they come. You're the most annoying sneezer. <laughs> what are they doing? That's my cotton. Yeah, take that. They're like, oh, your cotton's growing in? One down. Shot. They are tanky! Alright, this is gonna sound... This is gonna sound really offensive when I say this, when I say, Swine, run for your life! RUN FOR YOUR LIFE, SWINE! Because they're a pig, and it sounds like I'm... I'm being disparaging, but their name is actually Swine. Whoa, 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 they're fleeing! They're fleeing! We're gonna capture... Veen. Right leg, shut off. Gastro-analyzer. 
Right eye shot out. Death in two hours. I'll try to save them. You woke up three times last night sne in sneezing fits, even with the fan blowing on you. Maybe... Maybe that's what caused the sneezing fit. Maybe it was blowing allergens up your nose. This isn't the home zone, right? They should put out the fire. Why is nobody putting out the fire? They extinguished the fire. Do, 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 do. Wait, just take them to the hospital. Capture them and put them in the hospital that we don't have. And by that, I meant prison cell. Put them in the prison cell that we don't have. You swine is the insult you want to use when you want to offend someone... ...using... ...less than using other words. That's what I mean! That's what I mean, but their name was actually swine. We did tend to their shot off right leg. Hi there, to toasty toastified. Toastified. Thank you so much for the brand new subscription with Prime. Yay! Thank you for using that here. And welcome. I hope you are enjoying yourself, having a good time. Please enjoy the app free viewing. We have emotes and stuff, and there's also sound effects for subscribers. Thank you very much. I appreciate the support. Okay, so I have never had a a pigskin colonist. These are human pig hybrids, which are capable of two legged movement, tool use, and speech, but which also retain many pig like qualities. They are hardy and can eat almost anything without getting sick. But their trotter-shaped hands leave them at a disadvantage when attempting to precisely manipulate tools and objects. They do not see well at a distance, so pixie gangs usually focus on close-range weaponry. They also have a strong taste for explosives! They were originally made for their organs. Uncomfortable with the idea of harvesting organs from baseliner humans, a long-gone government merged human DNA into pigs to make these animals produce more easily transplantable hearts and lungs. They succeeded, but the resulting creatures became more human-like than anyone anticipated. So they have strong immunity, a strong stomach, a robust digestion... ...and reduced pain, which is probably how... ...you know, we... ...they managed to... ...sit there and get shot... ...their leg shot off and they kept attacking. I'm going to convert them to our ideology and then recruit them. Thank you so much, Toastified. How are you doing today? Hello to you. Do, 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 do. Or we can convert them and send them back to their own colony. Mwahaha. Ronin 6! Thank you so much for the brand new subscription with Prime, too! Welcome! Thank you very much, Ronin6! And same to you, we've got we've got sound effects and, and the stuffs and ad-free viewing, and, and thank you so much for the support! Got a new sub today and two new Prime subs today. Yay! That's oh super my hype! Gosh. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh! Yeah, that! That's super hype, I really appreciate it. Thank you! I think, I think, I think, I think, I think we need more people to do plants and things. Plants and stuff and things. <coughs> Doo -doo. Hype train. I got this. Super hype. <coughs> Super hype. Thank you for the 100 bits sister puppy. And starting a hype train. I was just about to walk off to the bathroom and now I can't do that. <laughs> now I can't walk off to the bathroom. Because you've started a hype train. <laughs> 
Look what you've done to me. Oh, Alistair noticed. Alistair noticed. Guess what's back? Guess what's back? No longer sacrificed to the wall. Oh. Jess was about to go poof, but you had to go boom. <laughs> oh. BG, Behe, thank you very much for the hundred bits. And Alistair, thank you as well. No, I was about to go to the bathroom. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm poofed. Invisibility cloak, it's back. This was my green screen for a minute. But then we moved into the new office and I was able to uh, um, take it off the wall. This was my original green screen that I made for myself back in the day. And then I got a real green screen. And then our last office was so tiny I had to take the old green screen back out. And I literally nailed it to the wall. Sacrificial style. And now that we're in the different office, I could break out the good green screen. And now, now we've got this. Puffed up hair and a poofed up body. <laughs> Thank you everyone so much for the support. For the new subs with Prime and, and the 100 bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your support goes a long way. I do stream full time and can't... Couldn't do it without your support. I guess this gig... I don't know, gas operation. And I still don't think they moved the clothes, did they? The tainted... the tainted clothing. No. I was gonna say something and I just lost it. <laughs> so yes, thank you so, so much. Streaming full time, it's not it's not easy to make ends meet. So all of your contributions and everything to help the stream go, keep going. <laughs> so so the stream goes. Yes, very much appreciated. Oh yeah, and this too. It's we're gonna be poofing, but it's also a level one hype train, so the camera gets bigger. At level 2, it gets bigger, and level 3, it gets bigger, and eventually, it's just eyes. <laughs> yeah, I think I want to adjust these rooms a little bit. So... Let's see how this looks. We should automate that? Yeah, I don't know how. That would be good, yes. It's... It's a, a somewhat automation I set up in my stream deck, so I wonder if I could get my, my like, firebot to talk to Twitch, to talk to my stream deck, and then... set up an automation like that. Because firebot can communicate with Twitch. Regarding hype trains, and I think... Does this just look weird? It kind of looks a little weird, huh? Perhaps because this one just has a hole in the wall? I need a piece of granite. Yeah, there's one. Can they build in the corner? Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. I forgot just how hot this thing is, though. Choo -choo. We missed the train, but I still appreciate your support. Thank you so much. And back to normal size. Out of food again. I guess I don't have anyone on hunting. Bandolier.
I played RimWorld longer than I intended to. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? And, um, ooh, we're in a tricky, 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 tricky spot. There's no food whatsoever. There's nothing to harvest whatsoever. Our animals are starving. Some would have picked Pop-Tart. <laughs> if only I had Pop-Tarts. Actually, no, that, that Pop-Tart stream we did a while back was enough Pop-Tarts for like the rest of my life. So the only thing I can I can think to do besides slaughtering animals, which I said I would try to avoid at all costs, w is to basically force a bunch of hunting real quick. Like so. Now if you put the, the efforts together and made toast with salad inside, we'll have made a sandwich! Should you eat or should you eat ice cream? To eat or to eat ice cream? <laughs> so we can we can let this run for a couple more minutes. Soon though, I need to swap to sponsor segment number two, or I should say sponsor segment take two, because I attempted to stream said game on uh, Friday, and I hit a bug, which I have since reported. The developer said it was the first instance of the bug being reported. I believe that there's been a patch for it. I did manage to get it to work in the end, but yes. And it turns out our sponsored stream on Friday ended up becoming a, a bug finder stream. Why didn't I hit the bug? Yeah, just squish it. So yeah, in the end it wasn't for nothing. So the thing is though, I still have to play the 90 minutes of the game. The pop door stream was definitely, I stream from the ceiling now. Ceiling cat had it right. Ceiling cat. Refugees leaving. Good bye. Fabio thanks you for allowing him to stay at Nato Settlement for 16 days. <sighs> Alright, that's Fabio and two two children, which means we no longer have to worry about childcare. And it's three less people to feed. Why did we hit the bug? Was it bugging us? It we uh, yeah, actually the, the game got soft locked in the tutorial. So we tried really, 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 really hard to come up with a fix for it. And we tried all sorts of stuff. Nothing was working, so I ended the stream and trouble shot it. Trouble shot it offline. Poor Alistair is the obsession of the corpse obsession. That's the third time today. Uh, yeah, so we... We managed to fix it after the fact. I reported it to the devs, and like I said, it was the first known instance of the bug itself. They thanked me for it, and and now it works. So we can actually play it for real. It was... it. It's just my luck. I have bad luck with these sorts of things. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Technically, we worked it out during the stream. It, well, like, right as we were ending, but then I also had to go and, like, do it myself. Which took a few extra minutes. So I spent about 45 minutes troubleshooting and then, like, reporting it and everything. I probably spent about 90 minutes on this game anyways, but I still have to play it. So the food situation is handled much faster than I expected, to be honest. Probably because... Three people left. That's all you have for bad puns. <laughs> it did kind of bug me though. For a sponsored stream, like that's definitely not how I wanted to go. It's what happened. I think we handled it well, hopefully. But yeah, I, I do still want to do the sponsorship because first off, I'm still very interested in this game and second, I. To be honest, sponsorship... Sponsorship helps! I know that sometimes like, people can be really iffy about paid sponsorships, but I want you all to know I don't play a game for a sponsorship that I wouldn't play myself. And... In, in that way, you know, like, there's, there's a bar. 
So this is a game that I would play myself and it also really, really, really helps to pay the bills. Sponsorships are like great income compared to other income sources. So we have a 90 minute sponsorship today, which I guess we should do if I want to get a demo in, huh? Is there a short demo that we can play? Streamers gotta eat, even if it's the flip top head, to not spend too much time away. I don't know what this means, Sleepy Dragon Man. <laughs> For me being the, the only one reporting it, it means it's a rare bug or no one else is reporting bugs. I don't know. <laughs> All I know, it was the first instance of the bug being reported. Demo for many things. I have a I have a really big next fest demo list right here. And I want to see if we can get any demo in if if it falls into our time frame, right? But I do need to play Stack Island. I won't be playing the demo for it. I actually have like a proper key. <laughs> 